Hello everyone, uh, it's Rob here. Rob Bidolf. Here I am, a little monkey on my shoulder. And I am a children's author and illustrator. Maybe you've seen some of my books. This is the third book in my Dinosaur Junior series called Wide Awake. It's a good bedtime story, that one. This is a book that I illustrated for another very famous author whose name is Jeff Brown. It's a very, very famous story. This is called Flat Stanley. It's all about this character here called Stanley who wakes up one day and he's been flattened to about an inch thick. Can you see? He's just a tiny little thin boy. Look, I'll tell you how it happens, shall I? He wakes up in the morning and his pinboard has fallen off the wall and landed on him and look, it's flattened him. So he's as flat as a pancake. There we go. 48 inches tall, 12 inches wide, one inch thick goes to the doctors. But the really fun thing is he has all sorts of adventures. He gets flown as a kite, although he does get caught up in a tree. What else happens? Oh yes, he disguises himself as little Bo Peep there and like hides in a gallery in order to try and catch some robbers. It's a really, really thun, fun story, that one. So check that one out. Also, you need to check this out. It's the Draw with Rob activity book. I guarantee if you like doing these videos, you will love this book. Look, lots of really fun things for you to do. I've drawn some scenes here where you get to finish the drawings off. You can see what's hiding in that particular shed in that drawing there, or you know, you can draw your own bear characters on this page. There's lots of my draw alongs, including Eugene Niao, uh, coloring pages, all sorts of really fun things for you to do. You have to see if you can find the hot dog who's hiding amongst all the sausage dogs dressed as hot dogs in that picture. But that's a really fun book and that is available now from wherever you buy your books. I'll put a link if wherever I'm posting this. I'll put a link somewhere that you can go and either order or pre-order the book depending on when you are watching it. But we are here today to do a drawing. It's a fun one today and I think it's quite an easy one today, actually. And it's probably something that you already know how to draw, but I'm just gonna show you how I draw it. But you can do it whichever way you like, but I thought it'd be fun for me to show you how I draw this particular animal. Before we start, I'm just gonna explain how it works. These videos are designed for anybody to take part. Uh, take part with, take part, no, let's start again. These videos are designed so that anybody can join in and draw along with me, no matter how good or bad, bad in inverted commas, you are at drawing. Do you know what? I think everyone can draw. You just need a bit of help with the order and that's why I'm here. I'm gonna draw a little bit of the drawing on my piece of paper here. Then you pause the video and you draw exactly what I've drawn. Then start it up, I'll draw a bit more. You draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. We keep taking turns like that. And at the end, you will have a little drawing that you are very proud of, I promise you. So today we are gonna draw a butterfly together. So the actual drawing part is very easy. It's not gonna take us very long at all. The really, really fun part is the coloring part today. So you are gonna need a pen or a pencil, something to draw with, but then you are definitely gonna need something to color with if you can find something that would be great. If not, if you've just got a pencil, you can still color in just using your pencil, but something colorful would be nice. Right, let's start, shall we? A very, very easy start to this drawing. We are just gonna draw a circle like that towards the top of our page nice easy start then underneath that circle I want you to draw sort of a lozenge shape so that's sort of like a, a rectangle but with rounded ends and a little bit longer than the width of your circle like that then underneath that, I want you to draw another sort of lozenge shape, but this time it's going to be a much, much longer one. We're going to go almost to the bottom of our page, and it's just going to get slightly narrower as we get to the end, so it almost finishes in a point, like that. So it's sort of like a chilli pepper shape, I guess. Big, long chilli pepper shape. You can already see a butterfly, a butterfly starting to take shape, can't you? Very, very easy, this one. Okay, let's give our butterfly some eyes up here on his head, shall we? So we're just gonna draw a circle on this side, a circle on this side, the same size, a little dot in the middle of each one for an eye. Quite difficult to do these dots with my brush pen. Do you know what? I'm gonna use my other pen. Where's my other pen? Here it is. 
going to use my other pen, it's just a little bit easier to get it smooth, my circle. Like that. And while I've got this in my hand, I'm just going to draw the eyebrows there and there. Let's give our butterfly three little eyelashes on each eye and a nice little smiley mouth in the middle, like that. Oh, sweet. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is just add a few horizontal lines in this section of our butterfly, just to give, I think this is the thorax, I think. I might be wrong, but I think that's the thorax, just to sort of break that up into segments and add a little bit of interest. And then the last bit on this middle part of our butterfly, we're gonna add some antennae. Guess what, this is my favorite bit. What I want you to do is start from just left of center, we're going to come up, we're going to go round, and we're going to finish up in one of my favourite things. My little swirls, like that. And then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side, but a mirror image. Let's see how accurate I can get this. It's not bad. Here we go, one of my little swirls on the other side. There we go. So that is the nice, easy middle bit of our butterfly. Now we need to add the wings. Hopefully you've done your drawing pretty much in the middle of your piece of paper. Mine's actually slightly over to one side, but it's not bad. But I want your wings to be lovely and big and fill the rest of our page so we've got plenty of room to colour. Okay, so we're gonna do the top wing first. Now butterflies, they basically have four wings, two bigger ones and two slightly smaller ones. So we're gonna start with the big one. Wherever your the top line on your middle section of your butterfly is, that's where we're gonna start and we are gonna come up at a sort of diagonal angle like that, but we are just gonna curve gently. Can you see we're just curving gently? And then when we get towards the edge of our page, that's when we're gonna curve around in a much, much sort of uh, tighter curve and start heading back down our page like that. So it's basically sort of like a big leaf shape, isn't it? And we're gonna join up again we're going to join up, we're going to join back up to this middle section, but it looks like we're not. It looks like we're going towards that bottom section, then right at the last minute, we're just going to curl up and join back there. So it's like a great big sort of leaf shape. And again, butterflies are pretty symmetrical, so let's try and do the other big wing. And try and just do the same on the other side. In fact, I'm going to start down here. I'm going to doesn't matter the all, doesn't matter. Sometimes, like the first one, I found it much easier to do it all in one line like that. But when I'm trying to match up both sides, I think it might be a little bit easier just to do it like this. And I'm sort of I'm sitting back a bit from my drawing so I can get an overall view and that just helps me get them roughly the same size. There we go. That's not bad, it's not perfect. But you know what I think about perfect drawings? There's no such thing. We like happy mistakes, happy accidents, don't we? So there we go, our two big butterfly wings. Let's add the two smaller wings now, shall we? So what we're going to do, we are gonna start from about halfway, the sort of the flat bottom bit of this wing, about halfway there, we're just gonna come down at that angle. Now these wings are much smaller. We're gonna come around and we're gonna go around like that. And again, we're gonna join up to the top part of the body, like that. I think I'm right in saying both the wings spring from this sort of, what I call the thorax section, which I hope is right. I'm sure you will tell me if it isn't. And then, okay, let's draw exactly the same on the other side. So trying to follow the same angle, get it roughly the same size. There we go. I'm pretty pleased with that. If you need to make a few corrections, you can do that within your line, you see what I mean? So I can bring that round a bit there. Come out a bit on this side. Because I like to use these thick and thin lines, it makes it means you can sort of correct yourself as you keep, as you draw. Just keep working on your drawing. So there we go. There is a very simple and very basic butterfly shape. Pretty cool, huh? So now, is the really fun bit, colouring in. Now, 
The only rules, I am going to, I'm going to impose some rules on this drawing, okay? We need butterfly wings, they're always perfectly symmetrical. It's almost like, you know sometimes you do those drawings at school, don't you? You get a piece of paper and you fold it in half and on one side of the paper you do all these lovely paint splodges. Then you fold it over and you press down and then when you open it up again, you've got like, it's done a print. It's printed the paint on this side, exactly the same on that side and it's the same pattern on both sides. We're not gonna do the folding and printing thing here, although I suppose you could, if you wanted to, you could give that a try. But we do want the patterns to be the same on both wings, but just mirror images of each other. So I'm gonna try and do that now. I'm gonna try and do it in super speed mode, obviously, but you can do it however you want, using whatever colors you want. But remember, try and make the patterns the same on both wings, but mirror images, okay, so it's symmetrical. I'm gonna see you back here in a minute or so, and hopefully I'll have a lovely colorful butterfly to you all. So here we go, three, two, one, let's go. There we go. There is my finished and colored butterfly. Left hand has done a bit of smudging there. Never mind, it makes it, makes it a much more authentic drawing, doesn't it? Let's sign my name, I'm gonna sign my name. You see, I've done, I don't know if you can see, so the important thing is I've made my drawing as symmetrical as I can. So the same number of stars, little dots and patterns, I sort of, whenever I did a bit of pattern on the left side, I then immediately did the same, but the mirror image of, of it on the right hand side. So my butterfly looks nice and symmetrical. I kept all of my colors within the same sort of area of the color palette so my colors are all sort of warm colors i've got reds and oranges and yellows a little bit of purple here as an accent color here or there here and there but then i just think sometimes it's quite nice to limit your color palette like that so all of your colors kind of work quite nicely together equally it's lovely to do a rainbow palette using every single color in the whole spectrum or to mix it up a bit and have reds and greens and blues and all sorts of things together but for this particular drawing I decided I'd keep my colors all in the same kind of uh, area of the the color circle the color wheel um, so that's that's why I did that and you can see I've added these little sparkly bits a little sort of sparkly trail coming from my butterfly because I always think butterflies are a little bit magical aren't they and they have that lovely powdery dust on their wings don't they anyway the last thing that we need to do is sign our picture. I'm going to sign my full name today down here. I'm going to do it right in the bottom corner, like that. Rob it off. There we go. Signed. Nicely done. And there we go. There is my finished butterfly drawing. I cannot wait to see your drawings this time because I just know they are going to be fantastically colourful and beautiful. It's going to be a joy to behold. What a rainbow of colors. This is gonna be a really spectacular grid. I can tell already. So what I want you to do is get somebody to take a picture of your drawing, and then you can post it on social media using the draw with Rob hashtag. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. That might be where you're watching these videos. On Facebook, you can add your drawing in the comments below here if you're following my author page on Facebook. In, on YouTube, if you go to the social media, that's probably the best way that I can see your drawing. So that would be lovely to see. I really hope you've enjoyed drawing along with me today. I've certainly enjoyed showing you how to draw a butterfly. And as I say, I can't wait to see what you've done. I'm gonna be back very soon with another Draw with Rob video. In the meantime, please take care of yourselves. Carry on drawing, keep practicing. The more you draw, the better you get at it. Obviously, it's like any other muscle drawing is, you need to exercise it to make it stronger. But I'm gonna see you very soon. So in the meantime, take care. Bye everyone.